In this video, we deploy FlowWise twice to Render.com. One time we deploy FlowWise using the free instance of Renda, and one time using the paid starter instance, and connect both of them to Langsmith. After some inactivity, we lose our first chat flow on our free instance. But on the paid version, our chat flow is still there, and saved to an attached disk. So this tutorial has two parts. Let's start with the first part and the free version. Before creating our chat flow in Flowwise, we need some Langsmith configuration data to connect Flowwise to Langsmith. So we create a project in Langsmith and give it a name. Then we copy the configuration data and paste it to a text file to use it later. The API key is missing. So we create a new API key, copy and add it to the text file in the right position. Now we are ready to proceed to the next step. To deploy Flowwise to Render.com, we first fork the Flowwise repository and give it a name like Flowwise underscore render underscore free. Keep in mind that you cannot make the fork repository private. But hold on to the second part of this tutorial where we use a private repository. We navigate to render.com and create a new web service. I have already connected render.com to my GitHub account. So I see my GitHub account on the right side and a list of my repositories on the left side. I connect the just created repository and give it a name. For region, I choose Frankfurt to be in the AU for the GDPR laws. Feel free to choose the nearest region to your target audience. For runtime, we choose Node and add install to the build command. For this part, we choose the free instance type. In the advanced section, we can add environment variables. First, we add flowwise underscore username and flowwise underscore password to restrict access to our chat flows. Then we add Langsmith's configuration data as environment variables. The first three configuration data will be the same for both parts, but the project name will differ. When all of the environment variables are set, we can proceed and create our first web service. This process takes some time. The status will change from building to in progress and finally to live. And we can scroll up and click on the address of our new instance on render. When we navigate to the link, we first have to log in with the Flowwise username and Flowwise password we set in the environment variables. After we successfully logged in, we go to the marketplace and add a simple conversation chain and click use the template. We adjust the position of the components on the canvas and go to openai.com to create a secret key. We create the openai API key and configure chat openai component to use the key. Remember to save the key somewhere to use it for the second part too. Now it's time to save the flow and give it a unique name and test it. We give a simple prompt like where is the capital of Spain and get Madrid as the answer back from ChatGPT with some additional information about the city. It's time to check if the connection to Langsmith was successful. As you can see, the data is sent to Langsmith in the background and we can see more details about the run, like the tokens used and the latency. So the first part of this tutorial is done. But after some inactivity, we will lose our chat flow on the free instance. It's time to level up. In the next part, we want to have a private repository and use a paid instance on render.com so that we keep our chat flows. 
For this part, we download the FlowWise repository. We could save our configuration in the .env file like my last video. But we want to have them like the first part in the environment variables of the render instance. So we initialize a repository in Visual Studio Code and publish it to GitHub, but this time as a private repository. To be sure, we check on GitHub and see the visibility of this repository is private. We go again to render.com and create another web service. We give it another unique name, choose node as runtime and add install to the build command. This time we choose the starter instance and go to the advanced section. We add the Flowwise username and Flowwise password and the Langsmith data as environment variables. Notice that we use this time another project name for Langsmith. As this is a paid instance, we can attach a disk to the instance to store our data on the disk. So we add a disk and give it a name and a mount path like slash opt slash render slash dot flowwise and select one GB for the start. We can increase it later. Now we can create our second service. This will take some while. Time to read the documentation on flowwise. We navigate to the documentation, to deployment and to the render section and scroll down to the persistent disk and see we need some more environment variables to store flow-wise data on the disk. So we go to the environment section of the instance and add the environment variables so that flow-wise information are stored on our disk and not on our running instance. After the changes to the environment is done, we need to do a manual deploy. So we clear the build cache and deploy again. This will take some while and the status starts from building and then in progress and finally live again. We navigate to the address of this instance on render and log in. Again we go to marketplace, select a simple conversation chain, adjust the position of the components on the canvas and adjust the size. Next, we assign the OpenAI key to chat OpenAI and finally save the chat flow with a unique name. Now it's time to test our second chat flow. This time with the prompt, where is the capital of Canada? We get Ottawa as the answer from ChatGPT with some information about this city. As you remember, we did not create a project on Langsmith for this instance. When we navigate to Langsmith, we see the project associated with our first run is still there and a new project is created. When we click on the new project, we see more information about this run. The projects and data on Langsmith are saved and will stay, but this is not the case with render.com. When we switch to render, we see our two deployments. As you can see, there is more than 15 minutes of inactivity gone since we created our first free instance. If we navigate to our free instance, we see that our chat flow is gone. But when we navigate to our paid version, the chat flow is still there. So we can first test render with a free instance and then use a paid version if we really need to keep our data. Render.com is not the only solution to deploy Flowwise chat flows, as you saw in the documentation, but definitely one of the easiest solution. Now you can easily connect the chat flows deployed on Render.com to Langsmith 2. Good luck.